Hey folks, welcome back. This is Jeff. This week I've been spending a little time uh, working with the Avada in the simulator. I worked with the DJI Virtual Flight app for a while, and the one we're looking at here is an app on Steam that's called Liftoff. Uh, it has a bunch of different tracks. Uh, this is a more advanced track, which I am definitely not. Uh, I worked a lot this week, and I feel like I'm I'm finally starting to get the hang of it. I'm not just careening off into the distance and crashing into the ground. I, I still bump into a lot of things and end up in places I'm I'm not supposed to be, but it's uh, I'm, I am getting a little more control. It doesn't look like it at first, but uh, I am able to move around. This track is uh, called Dubai Legends, and I think that thing down there is the actual track that you're supposed to fly to just above and through and up that little thing and through there and back down again. And I am nowhere near ready for that. So I'm right now I'm just having fun, like flying above it and, uh, trying to stay in the area, which I'm, I'm doing okay with. I'm, I'm still not of a level where I want to take the actual Avada out and put it into manual yet. Uh, I can make mistakes here and I, I can just see, I'm not ready to, you know, be bumping into cars or trees or people's houses or, you know, anyone else's property. I don't want to do any property damage and I don't want to bust up my drone. So, um, kind of learning in the, the simulator, uh, I'd say I've got about maybe 10 hours in so far, uh, just doing a, a half hour here and there. Um, it's, it's improving, but I, I still need to really get that tight control down and have it go where I want it to go before I, I get into the real thing. So um, I, I have been flying the Avada a little bit with the, uh, the motion controller and the, the FPV RC controller. Uh, both of them have, have their strengths, and uh, I, I like flying with the motion controller. I know a lot of people are not fond of it, but I, I think it uh, had gotten a bad rap at first, but people are starting to realize that it's a... It's kind of a fun way to do it. Um, they just came out with the uh, ability to control the uh, Mini 3 Pro with the goggles and the and the uh, motion controller. And uh, I, I don't have the Mini 3 Pro. I have an Air 2S, and I wish they would make it compatible with that. That would be a lot of fun. I, I know not all the functions are available in it, but to, to be able to fly it in a more FPV mode, um, I think it just makes it a lot more accessible to more people. Um, cause not everybody has like for the FPV modes, uh, I, I don't know how anyone ever put together a quad and, and took it up and started doing things, uh, without simulators. It's, it's crazy to think that you can, <laughs> you can have that kind of control right out of the box. Um, I, I had no idea that FPV was, needed so much, uh, control. I, I, thought, well, you're just flying around with joysticks and all that. And it's, it's the, just the level of, of control you need with the throttle and, and rolling it and, and turning it. It's just, it's, it's a lot of stuff that I, I had no idea was there. So I'm um, uh, really gaining an appreciation for what I, I see these guys doing. Some of them make it look so effortless and they just put the thing anywhere they want it. And it just, the control is amazing. I'm, I'm just in awe of, of how good these guys are with these things. Um, I would love to, to have that kind of control one day, um, working on it. But, uh, <laughs> at, at my age, I'm, I'm lucky to have what I've, I've got here. So I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, not getting to fly as much as I would like. I, I got out a bit last weekend and, and did some things. The weather was nice. Uh, this weekend I've got a long weekend, but, the, there's some storms out, uh, coming that's already windy and we've got a, high wind advisory in the area. I'm right on the coast. So, uh, last weekend was great. I was out over the water, um, on the river, uh, took the Avada out and had a lot of fun with it. Um, the, the air 2 S is still better for, uh, the high quality, uh, photos and videos, but the, uh, the Avada is nothing is as fun as, as that for me. It's, it's just, you know, and I, I would love to have, uh, more quads, uh, you know, get into the, the real traditional FPV, 
But uh, I think the Avada is great for me to be able to switch it into GPS mode and, and fly it like my, my normal camera drones. Uh, so for a starter drone, I'm, I'm real happy with that. Um, maybe as I get down the road, I'll, I'll invest in something more, but uh, that'll, that'll be a while. I wish that the uh, DJI's FPV unit was compatible with the newer uh, goggles. Um, I have the, I think it's the goggles V2. Um, the, the FPV model uses the older goggles, and I would have to buy a whole other set of goggles with it. If if I just needed the drone by itself, that would be great. But uh, I'm not going to buy a second pair of goggles just to for one more drone. It, it's it's stupid to have so many different pieces, and each one has to work with the individual drone. I I would love it if they all just work together. Um, so I'm hoping the compatibility compatibility in the future will uh, be a little better. Um, you know, there's rumors of an Air 3 coming out soon, so I'm watching for that. But, uh, yeah, the Avada continues to be a lot of fun. Um, just working, learning how to, to do manual mode. Uh, I'm enjoying the normal and sport mode so far, but uh, hoping to get out and hit the M button again over the weekend sometime and uh, try it out for real. But in the meantime, I'm just simulating. Talk to you later.